We're back. A seaman files suit seeking compensation and change after the cargo ship he was on was taken over by pirates. The suit was filed in Houston because the crew member's lawyer is from here. It was earlier this month when pirates hijacked the Maersk, Alabama off the coast of Africa. The 20 crew members were able to fight them off. The captain, Richard Phillips, was taken hostage for several days before the Navy was able to rescue him. Here's 39 Steve Simon with more on the lawsuit. Richard Hicks is on dry land, and he will likely stay away from water for a while, because three weeks ago, he was on board this. I'm not over it yet. I'm not quite over it yet. I'm still a little nervous, leery. Leery, and now with a lawyer, Hicks from West Palm Beach, Florida, filed the first lawsuit from someone on board the Maersk, Alabama. His ordeal included a struggle with a pirate and about 12 hours in a hot safe room with others until his release. Well, I fear for my life. And um, they, they had us in a secluded room, and we stayed back there for about 12 hours. It was about 125 degrees, and I didn't know if I was going to live or die. Those Somali pirates died at the hands of Navy SEALs as they rescued Captain Richard Phillips. And Hicks and his lawyer, Terry Bryant, say it should have never come to that, because Maersk never took steps to protect the crew from pirates. These companies should be more concerned about their personnel than they are about their profits. Bryant says the company should have used things like sonic devices that emit high-pitched noise or even barbed wire on the side of the ship. The lawsuit asked for more than $75,000 in damages. Hicks believes his heroic captain would agree there should have been more security than things like fire hoses on board. He might agree with me that that has been going on for three years. And like I said, we have safety meetings and he did all he could in his power took it to the next chain of command and nothing never was done about it. This case could have been filed anywhere because it's under the jurisdiction of the Jones Act, the 1920 law that covers the rights of U.S. seamen like merchant marines. Maritime attorney Brian Beckham specializes in Jones Act cases. No, there's no legal limitations. There are some rules where if you're in a country's territorial waters, you might have to use security uh, from that country. Steve Simon, 39 News. Hex, by the way, was a steward on the ship and helped run the kitchen. Attempts to reach both Maersk and Waterman Steamship Corporation. The defendants in the lawsuit were unsuccessful.